this video, I'm going to give you guys the 10 most intimidating guard dog breeds. My number 10 dog is a Cane Corso. Cane Corso it comes from Italy. It's a dog that basically has a genetic history of guarding and protecting the farm. This dog not only guarded against two foot predators, but it also guarded against animals. Number nine on my list of the most intimidating guard dog breeds is the Doberman Pinscher. Uh, obviously, the Doberman Pinscher is the only dog breed that was ever created for the specific purpose of personal protection. Today, the Doberman Pinscher is a very intelligent, super athletic, and capable guardian dog breed. Uh, this breed has what I would consider to be an elite mix of athleticism and size. Number eight on my list of most intimidating guard dogs is the Rottweiler. These dogs are amazing, instinctually genetically programmed for protection. Rottweilers are instinctively aloof, always wary of strangers, and very much aware of their boundaries. Now anybody who uh, kind of steps foot on the property line or comes near a gate will get barked at and will be made aware of his presence. The breed is visually intimidating. You know, roughly 125 pounds, 26, 27 inches tall, black, huge head. The Rottweiler is a very imposing figure. Speaking from personal experience, anytime your Rottweiler is by your side, people will ask for permission to approach you or your property. Number seven dog on my list of most intimidating guard dogs is the Presa Canario. Very similar to the Cane Corso, the Presa Canario is a uh, farm dog of uh, rustic organs. Uh, it has a innate guardian instinct, excellent athleticism, a great dog. These dogs will both provide great protection of person and farmer. Uh, even livestock if you have some. Presa is high on this list because it is a little bit more rustic, a little bit less kennel club affected, meaning the genetics are a little bit more truer to their origination. And therefore, I feel that the uh, instincts and intensity of the Presa Canario is a little bit higher uh, than the Canario Corso, and even in the, the route. Number six on my list is the Serbian Defense Dog. And, uh, this is a recreation of the old Serbian Mastiff. The breed is basically a Mastiff hybrid. Neapolitan Mastiff, American Staffordshire Terriers, and Game Bred Pit Bulls. The Serbian Defense Dog is a versatile molester capable of handling a great number of duties with ease, as well as being a wonderful urban companion for responsible dog owners. In addition to all these amazing genetic instincts and attributes for guarding, the Serbian Defense Dog has a very high visual deterrence. This breed is not a breed that you're going to walk up on and want to engage in any kind of altercation. All right, guys, number five on my list of the 10 most intimidating guard dog breeds is a Tibetan Mastiff. Now, the Tibetan Mastiff is a huge dog breed, and their size is only exaggerated in some types of Tibetan Mastiff by their mane, their fur, their hair, whatever you want to call it. These dogs can look ferocious. Genetically speaking, Tibetan Mastiffs are, ter are territorial and are natural guardian dogs. Uh, some Tibetan Mastiffs can be more protective about guarding and watchdog work than others. But typically the breed is highly territorial, very confident, and not only will this breed stand its ground, it will close the distance between itself and a, a perceived threat. A word of caution when it comes to owning a Tibetan Mastiff, because of their history and the way they were used, this breed is very independent and can be very stubborn. Number four on my list, South African Mastiff, also known as the Borble. The Borble is a dog breed that was developed in Southern Africa and without a doubt has faced just environmentally some of the toughest uh, adversaries. Not only men, but you're talking wild animals like leopards, even lions. I'm not saying that these dogs engage lions or leopards in that manner in, a, in terms of combat, but they had to develop the resolve to uh, hold their ground, to bark, to make noise, uh, and to stand in the face of an apex predator. In regards to this breed's ability to be a guard dog, genetically, it's all there. Uh, the dog has guarded and worked on the farms in Southern Africa since its inception. In terms of its visual deterrence, the breed is huge. The head is blocky. The bark is deep. The Borbo is the epitome of elite size and elite strength when it comes to canines. All right, guys, the Fila Brasileiro, which is uh, the Brazilian Mastiff. This breed is a breed that needs much exercise and will become frustrated or excessively aggressive if they aren't exercised well. Felas were used to guard estates and they were also used in the hunting of big game animals such as jaguar. Uh, the dogs would also work with livestock, driving cattle, as well as catching individual cattle 
uh, when the Brazilian rancher uh, needed a cattle to be caught. A very courageous dog, very powerful mastiff. Uh, it is amiable with this human family, making a very loyal and loving companion to its family. Uh, this breed is extremely dedicated uh, to its owner. Uh, Fila will protect you without a moment's hesitation. The breed feels that that is its purpose. My number two dog on my list of the 10 most intimidating guard dogs is the Bully Cutter. Now, this breed is on my list, so high on my list, based on personal experience. Uh, there has been no other dog breed that has, I would say, more so intimidated me than a Bully Cutter. Now, typically this is a fighting dog breed and it's known for its aggressiveness, it's known for being territorial. It's not necessarily known in terms of its history as being a a typical guard dog in the, in, the, in the way that we think of in terms of Western civilization. Like, I don't know how trainable these dogs are, but genetically speaking, they have all the guarding instincts, very protective of their people, very protective of property, of their surroundings. Uh, the breed has an extremely loud bark. It's a huge dog, so the visual deterrence of the bully cutter is immense. I mean, you're looking at a dog that could weigh 180 pounds, easy, muscle, big head, loud bark, and very aggressive. And these dogs, like I said, these are fighting dogs, so they're not dogs that are going to back down from animal or human. Uh, they will hold their ground. And just face it, no one's going to jump a fence. No one's going to engage huge, massive dog and this barking at them. It's just not going to happen. The number one dog breed on my list, the Caucasian Shepherd. This breed historically was trained for guarding and safekeeping of herds, livestock, uh, human dwellings, protecting them from both human and animal predators. Uh, the breed is uh, recognized by the FCI as a guard dog and watchdog. Caucasian Shepherds are a large, powerful, and naturally aggressive guard dog. Uh, the dog is strong-willed, very loyal, fearless, capable guard dog, suitable for protecting large areas such as commercial estates. Uh, these dogs are known to work in prisons as well as working with the military. Aside from their genetic predisposition to be intensely territorial, the breed is relatively athletic uh, in terms of temperament. It is very aloof, uh, very wary of strangers. Uh, it is intense. Uh, and in my estimation, the optimal or the ultimate guard dog in terms of looks and guarding ability. Not a dog breed that you can train in the Western sense of the word of dog protection sports or guarding sports. Uh, this is more of a dog that you would basically place with an understanding that the dog will form its own genetic understanding, genetically will form its understanding of what boundaries belong to it. It will understand what people are part of its family and those people are to be protected. I've seen a lot of people work with Caucasian Shepherds on sleeves and doing other kind of protection type activities with the Caucasian Shepherd. And I don't think this is a dog breed whose guarding intelligence uh, rivals that of a Belgian Malinois. But in terms of its visual presentation, I'm going to do my best to avoid this 150-pound